when I started looking for degrees to do, um, i just come off my gap year, um, I really didn't have a good idea of what I wanted to do as a career. When I found Oxford Brooks and was looking through their degrees, economics, politics and international relations really leapt out, primarily because there was such a broad range of knowledge um, and kind of things that interested me. It was really a good way to find a direction in life. I mean, it's so diverse in the number of things you're learning. There's also a broader range of political issues and social issues that you tackle and you debate in, in lectures and in classes, which is really interesting. Um, so every week there would always be something new. There's always be something challenging you. So there was never a moment you could sit still, really. You never kind of knew enough. There was always something else to learn. My biggest interest, personally, was actually the statistics and the economic side of it. Um, I love dealing with numbers, I love dealing with being able to get data and see what you can pull out of it. The new trend is big data, so having trillions of bytes of information and trying to sift through that, providing bits of information for people to use, that's a really powerful tool. You learn the kind of the basic building blocks at university by being able to expand upon that. I've, I've always been going towards what's interested me really, and technology is something that's always really interested me. And as part of my degree, I didn't necessarily learn the skills that would, the hard skills that would help me with that. There's lots of kind of soft skills, so being critical of information, analysis, research, all those things are really vital in the technological industries. I think those research skills and the critical skills were the things that really helped me um, in my current job. I'm a consultant quality analyst for ThoughtWorks. Um, that's primarily in the testing world. It's not an industry that's sitting still ever. Yeah, you're constantly finding new things um, and new ways of doing things. As a quality analyst, it's not necessarily just testing whether a bit of code works. It's about actually making sure that the end product is of quality and will provide the end user satisfaction. 